All right, hello and welcome back to another fly tying episode here on Catching Colorado. This is a variation of a foam beetle and it is what I will call an iridescent beetle. Um, what I've done is I've started with a Umqua U001 dry fly hook and I am wrapping thread back to the very bend of this hook. I like to go a little further than I would on most um, just because it's a beetle and I'm trying to give it more of that curved appeal. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spandex material I've had a hard time finding, but it is a foil spandex and it's blue, green, purple, just depends on where it is in the light. But I've cut it kind of like a football and what I'm going to do is tie in the point towards the front of the hook and I'm going to flip it upside down. Now this ties in a lot like foam. Um, once you get a capture wrap on there, oh, having a little trouble with my, my uh, line here, my thread. Once you get a capture wrap in there, it will start to kind of eat against the hook just like a foam would. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of pull it back and keep capturing it as I go all the way back to the bend of the hook. <clears throat> and then progress it back forward and stop right about the three quarter mark. <coughs> okay, now for a next step, I'm going to take a piece of black foam, um, just like you would with a foam beetle, and I'm gonna trim a little triangle out of the front, and I'm gonna tie that in at the exact same spot. And we're gonna start working our way back with that. Now this, I'm trying to really kind of push that foam around, um, kind of encapsulate that spandex a little bit, but also just kind of get a really tight foam body built up here. Um, not really concerned about flotation because it's such a light fly, but just trying to get like a smoother profile. Um, you won't see it when we're done, but uh, it's kind of nice to know that you've got a, a pretty firm body there. Um, so next we are going to take a couple pieces of peacock curl. Um, so I'm going to just get two pieces of that and double them up on top of each other. And we are just going to tie these in to give the body a little bit more flash on the underneath side. So I'm going to capture wrap and then come back to the foam and then roll that back forward. Um, again, stopping just right at the edge of that foam on that three quarter mark. And then what I'm going to do is give myself a little thread here and just watching the hook barb there, wrap this hurl forward to give the body a little bit of legs, a little bit of life. So then once I get to kind of that front point, I'm gonna do a couple capturing wraps. There we go. And then I will cut out the extra hurl. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of bring that thread back just a hair there. Make sure I really capture that peacock curl. Okay, um, next I'm gonna tie in some Strung Rooster sad Saddle. Um, this is kind of a brown color, but these are all the colors I have options for. Um, I like to do like the light brownish. Um, I also like to do sort of the red brownish. But either way, uh, I'm gonna cut a little piece away from the batch. And then I'm going to just trim off the very back end of that uh, hurl. And then I'm gonna come to about the halfway point and then roll back forward. And then what we're gonna do is kind of spin this onto the fly again. So just getting us a little bit of a saddle hackle going there. Do one capture wrap, do a second capture wrap. 
really get that nice and in there. And then I'm just gonna try to trim off everything that's kind of up near the head. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just kind of trimming it down so that I can see what's going on here. All right, so now that we've got that tied in, this is where the foam starts to come forward. So what you can do is you can kind of take your finger and go down the middle and then whichever hackle goes on one side and whichever hackle goes on the other side, you just kind of push it away. And then you just bring that foam basically right up the body. And I'm actually gonna bring my thread back a little bit before I tie this in. Um, and then coming over the top of that foam and pulling down tight, and then going back again and pulling down tight should start to give you a bulbous back that looks a lot like a beetle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just cut this foam as low as possible. And then I will take that thread and just kind of finish wrapping in there. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab my spandex and I'm gonna pull it forward and you'll notice just how well that kind of blends around that hook on that body. And then we are going to capture wrap the spandex. And then after I capture wrap it, I kind of pull it forward just a little bit, just to make sure you get a nice tight wing case there. And then we're gonna wrap that in a couple times. And then again, we're gonna cut this out. You could use a, a knife here if you wanted to try to be really particular. I'm just gonna use the curve of these scissors to try to get a nice uh, clean cut there. So now that we've gotten that done, we are pretty good on that part of the fly. Now anything that came forward from the hackle, I'm just gonna cut out. I'm fine with everything going down, but I'm gonna build up a little bit of a head here. So I wanna kind of cut that out. And then next thing I'm gonna tie in and the last material is just a little bit of the waspy um, fur. This is the rabbit dubbing. Um, black, so I'm going to just build a very, very fine noodle. Um, we are just trying to cover the little bit of garbage there at the end and give it a little bit of a head profile. So I'm going to go right over a couple times, basically right where we had all that hackle, and then I'm going to trim off any of the excess hackle that's kind of sticking out of the head. Nothing too crazy there, just kind of cleaning up the head a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is push that dubbing back, do a couple wraps right behind the eye. And then lastly, I'm going to take my whip finish tool and I'm going to finish by whipping right behind the eye there. And just kind of work that back, really pull it tight, and then cut her clean. And then what you can do is you can kind of work the fly a little bit around, and I just cut that hackle so it's, I don't know, maybe half a length, something like that. And you'll start to notice that um, there's kind of hackle everywhere, but it gives it a little bit of legs. Makes it look kind of neat, so. That right there is my beetle. Um, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it gets the job done and it's got a lot of flash and uh, it looks pretty dang close to an actual beetle. So uh, I'll get this out on the South Platte River and uh, catch a ton of fish with it. Absolutely great little dry fly. So thanks for watching this episode of Fly Tying on Catching Colorado and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.